Welcome to Discover La Jolla, where we showcase this coastal community, the jewel of San Diego, boasting boutique businesses and vibrant upscale neighborhoods. I'm your host, Valley, and I'm here with my co-host, Jim McInerney. Hey, Valley. Hi, Jim. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Lovely to see you. It's great to see you. I'm looking forward to this show. Yeah. So in La Jolla, there's what I've noticed, mm -hmm. having been on the show for a little while now, is a lot of the businesses are local owned like people generational yes. businesses not just like corporate big corporate you know right. trends what are you seeing i see the same thing there's a lot of multi-generational uh, businesses whether they be restaurants or clothing stores uh, that exist in la jolla and so when you're purchasing you're really supporting the businesses of la jolla investing in la jolla um, a lot of corporate places have kind of come and gone, mm -hmm. uh, which is fine because La Jolla really is unique in its businesses. Um, and there's new ones coming. It is sort of a destination mm -hmm. to be able to arrive or open your new store. Like the local family just purchased Barbarella's a few years ago mm -hmm. or comes up with a new idea for a bakery, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's really cool to see residents opening and running businesses in La Jolla. It's well, wonderful. that's why we say boutique businesses because yeah. that doesn't mean that they're small. It means, you know, that they're ran by real people. When you yeah. visit these stores, oftentimes you get to meet the owners. You get to meet the owner and then it turns out that your kids go to the same school and it's it's a wonderful community. And I'm so glad that La Jolla is like that. Mm -hmm. And there are businesses and there are people behind helping make these other businesses successful. Yep, there's a lot of cooperation and a lot of groups that are promoting businesses and, and networking businesses to like business. A collective. Yep, mm -hmm. and we're actually gonna meet the president of the La Jolla Merchants Association, which is exactly what that is. All right, let's meet him. Let's go get him. Hi, j -Fet. welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. So I'm interested in learning a little bit about you. Before we tap into what you do, um, I'd like to learn a little bit about you, your hobbies, um, you know, your interest in La Jolla, things like that. Sure. Well, I'm a San Diego native. I've been a La Jolla local going on for four years now. Hobbies, well, I'm always in the ocean, you know, surfing, swimming, snorkeling, summertime, I'm there like every day. Really? Yeah, when I'm, awesome. when I'm not in the ocean, I'm normally dancing. I dance salsa and bachata. Oh, wow. So I'm really big into Latin dancing. Great. I'm into Latin dancing here in San Diego. It's nice to know you let loose because I see you in your in your suit and I'm, I'm taking you seriously, but it's nice to know that you surf and snorkel. And then I didn't, I, I wouldn't have thought salsa dancing, but I love <laughs> I love to hear it. Where do you go snorkeling in La Jolla? Um, shores. Shores Always and is, Cove. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, beautiful that's, places. Oh, that's great. They that have the Marine awesome. Reserve there. Yep. That's Good great. Time. You, get, you don't get a little bit nervous in the water snorkeling? I did. I used to get panic attacks all yeah. the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be out like a mile offshore crying, hyperventilating. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm right there yeah. with a you. A tough on yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I had a friend who's a mentor of mine who would take uh -huh. me out and he's twice my age. And it's like, no, I'm not going to quit. Yeah. If he can do it, he's twice my age. I can do it too. Good. Yeah, I would just push through. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. And we've had some really turbulent tides lately. I mean, I just went out to the beach the other day and I'm like, wow, the waves are still going. They're still roaring. They almost drowned like about a week and a half ago. <laughs> Surfing? <laughs> no, uh, open water swimming. Oh, okay. Oh I did a solo swim about a mile and a half. Where mm -hmm. at? Uh, off the cove. Mm -hmm. So one of the buoys got taken away by the king's tide. So mm -hmm. there's a kayak group about a mile, mile and a half out. Swam to them, swam back. On Good the way, for you. On the way back, a king tide almost smashed me into the rocks off the cove. Yeah. So, close or, call, lifeguards were like 10 seconds away from going in to save wow. me, but I pushed through and made it back to shore. This might oh. be our last interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully you not. Gotta, you, you're a risk Take taker. it easy there. Yeah. Yeah, adrenaline junkin' for sure. I love that. And then salsa, do is it on Sunday nights? Sunday nights, yeah. Saturdays, Thursdays, Fridays. Really? I'm really big into it. I That's love awesome. that. Yeah. Okay, so now that we know you and loosened you up a little bit, there you go. tell us a little bit about what you do for work and business. So I do a couple of things. So I work in finance full time. That's my okay. nine to five. I work at UC San Diego okay. as a senior contracting account officer. Hmm. So I've been doing that for going on four years now. Good. Um, in 2021, I started my first business, Javits Painting Company. Okay. We do residential and commercial painting here in San Diego. Awesome. Small business, branching off from my father's work. He's been a painter going on 30 years now. Hmm. So I got licensed to the state of California, wow. opened up LLC and just expanding on his expertise and it's booming. We're doing really good. That's awesome. And it's just amazing to see it grow. 
Yeah. That's great. And there's another part of kind of like, it's almost like volunteer work, but you give back to La Jolla in a special way. I started off as a volunteer. Um, now I'm currently president of the La Jolla Village Merchants Association. Good for you. Congratulations. So, thank you. That's you know, awesome. Ran a campaign, got voted in, and just been growing that, helping improve La Jolla in any way I can. You don't seem very old. And you've been, <laughs> it seems like you've done a lot and you're doing a, a ton to make an impact in La Jolla. I did hear that we're in La Jolla, they were looking for just younger people to really get in and make to the impact. To be on the board of the mm -hmm. merchants. Is that true? They're recruiting now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but when I started, I just kind of reached out to people. I was a new grad from Columbia University and reached out to Steve Hadley of Drillacava's team, District 1 council member. And he sent me over to the Merchant Association and said, hey, they would love your expertise, your help, and been working with them ever since. What's your favorite part about your day to day at the Merchants Association? Meeting people and helping businesses, 100%. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm a business owner myself mm -hmm. and I understand how hard it is to have a business here in California where it's so regulated and stuff. So it's able to help people get grants, get funding, resources, network, expand their business. It just makes a world of difference because people really appreciate that, especially when you have the business background and you know right. how hard it is. Yeah, and there's so many great businesses in the town of La Jolla. Absolutely. And great owners that it's it's really an awesome community yes it is and, and what uh, a great way to also promote the other things that you mm -hmm. love doing and your your business as well absolutely that's awesome yeah. have you been getting good feedback from the businesses that you've reached out to 100 percent. yeah every time a new business comes into the to, into one of our meetings we mm -hmm. provide them with information apply to this grant reach out to this network this nonprofit, they'll be able to exist in X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. And they learn something every time they come. Have you recently had any success with helping a business that you know ended up getting the, a grant? Absolutely. In our district, we applied, I think, six or seven of us. I believe three to four received grants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a 50% hit rate. It's been amazing. And you know, they received two to $3,000. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. They, you know, they refurbished their office. They bought you know, X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. they benefited from it 100%. Yeah. Is there other resources and tools that maybe aren't really well known that they should take advantage of? Or like, what are some of the things, your checklist, if it's a grant, what else is there that they can reach out to you? So for? the biggest thing that um, we help with is social media marketing. We mm -hmm. do it for free. We get them, if they don't have a social media page, we get them on there. We promote it 100% free. And that's something us younger gener generations mm -hmm. are really good at. Because yeah. we, you know, we were born on social media, we, we know how to use it, but some of these more mom and pop stores, brick and mortar, haven't really quite accessed it. Mm -hmm. And we get them involved and get them Exposure. new eyes. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Traffic. New, yeah, new customers. Awareness, education yeah. of what they're doing. 100%. That's awesome. So it's just bridging a gap between new technology and older businesses. That's true. That's well said. <laughs> No, He's I mean, going to say old fuddy daddy <laughs> that don't know how to do it. Well, it's true. Like after nice so long, you've done it a certain way. Yeah. You only know that way and you don't know yeah. what you don't know. So if yeah. somebody comes in that's willing to help and support your business in a way, I think it just elevates. And I love that there's even association like this that cares. Yeah, they really right? do care. And they really uh, go out of their way to show their support for La Jolla. And the website is LaJollaByTheSea.com. That is really a great resource for finding out what's going on in La Jolla, mm -hmm. what's happening and what events are coming up. And it's just a great website to reference um, for, for information. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How are you weaving your degree, your passions with art, and your job as, it's a president of the Merchant Association, right? How Correct. are you weaving all of that together with each other to kind of, um, make this like a successful blend? Because they, they seem like these things are all so different. How do you incorporate what you've learned in college and, your fi and, and in finance to help you with what you do there? So the way I can describe it best is that it's a balance of all things. You know, the art, the dancing helps me relax. You know, most days I'm working 16 hours a day. Uh, finance, you know, I'm really good in policy. I read a lot of federal policy regulations. That's what I do most of the day. Mm. Business, you know, reaching out, man managing payroll, and then from the Merchants Association perspective, it's more like giving back to community, mm -hmm. staying grounded, you know, you know, talking to the common folk, going around, walking the streets and letting organizations know we're here, we're here to help. Yeah. So it's just, it, everything balances each other out. There's no really one aspect that, you know, trumps uh, one over the other. Mm -hmm. That's the best way I can describe it. And what's, what's the name of your painting business? 
So, a little egotistical, but it's my name, <laughs> JFET's Painting Company. That's right. But, yeah. you know, I'm putting my name out there, you yeah, know? Yeah, of it's course. It's a unique name, I think, that <laughs> yeah. it, it sticks. You don't forget it. Yeah. That's awesome. And, and your dad has been doing it for 30 years. Yes. And he's kind of turning it over to you. And you really got engaged with it three years ago? Well, I've been painting with him since I was 13. Oh, okay. So, I, so I learned the trade. grew up. I grew up every summer painting houses, painting schools, you know, I, I know how to walk very well on scaffolding, ladders, you name I don't, I'm not scared of heights because of it. And how many people are in, in that business with you? Right now, I'm managing a team of five. Wow. Got it. Good for you. And so managing the pay payroll, benefits. That's awesome. And it's been trial by error, mm -hmm. learning this myself, you know, self-taught. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've had a lot of years being around that trade. Yeah. Now it's like, how do you run a business exactly of that so so for you. I had a mentor of mine he told me you're gonna learn more from learning it on the go than you would if you got an MBA right and he was absolutely right yeah theoretically you can read that study that all day but until you put it into practice right and that's when you learn start the answering the phone and <laughs> realizing your mistakes and getting yelled at which yeah. happened all the time well you know what though it's another you're in the you're in the business business world with these business owners in La Jolla right yep. so you also didn't inherit it but you somewhat grew up around it because your father was doing it and so some of these business owners in La Jolla have inherited or are now working for this long that's family true. business and so mm -hmm. you understand the need and you understand the struggles that they have and being in the Merchant Association, that's exactly what they're looking for, somebody who understands them. I want to mention, I've had a couple people tell me that they've seen themselves in me, like a younger version of mm -hmm. themselves. Same thing, hustling, figuring out as they go. Mm -hmm. And that's the two type of people we like to attract, people who are just going for it, starting their own business, and helping each other out. Mm -hmm. It's very much a collaborative experience yeah. at the Merchant Association. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's, it's exciting to see and hear. I mean, we had... Uh, another person come in. What was her name? Remember? Judy. Judy. She oh, came yeah. Judy. in. Jody. 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 Oh, yeah, Jody came awesome. in. And she Jody was, is a <laughs> spark plug. Yeah, she just she it's just amazing. gave us a lot of energy about yep. an excitement about um, what it is that you guys do, and so we wanted to hear more about it. Well, again, yep. thanks for having me here. Happy Thank you very much. It was wonderful having you on as a guest. Yeah. We'll see you around town. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see you around town. Stay safe in those waters. Yeah, stay yeah, safe. Just, just look into the ocean. You'll see me there. <laughs> I'll find you out there. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching Discover La Jolla. We'll see you next time. See you guys.